All right, next fight up, Thomas Almeida taking on short notice replacement, Jonathan Martinez. I'm going to let you kick it off, my man. Talk to me about this one. Let me just confirm how long it's been since we've seen Thomas Almeida because this guy has been out for a minute. It's closing in on, uh, what is it, almost three years now. January of 2018, he, he lost to Rob Font. Uh, but even like when he was fighting consistently and often, even leading up to that uh, Cody Garbrandt fight, he was 20-0, and 21-0 leading into that fight. The kid is super fun to watch. He is must-see TV every time he fights. He goes out on his shield or he tries to just get the finish himself. Um, <laughs> I love uh, – I, I, I like Almeida, but I just don't like the layoff. There's, there's a huge difference between uh, coming off a layoff and finding a guy like Alejandro Perez and then coming off a layoff and finding a guy like Jonathan Martinez because Martinez can put it on you. If you're not in it in the slightest, Martinez is going to take your soul. I like Martinez. I think he's a solid spot here. Uh, I think he was a plus 40 dog and he opened, but now it's pretty much out of pick him. People are, people are aware of what Jonathan Martinez is about. And that Frankie Sainz fight was a little bit of a cupcake deal for him. He was able to go in there and get the finish real quick. Um, shout out to Z who got a, I believe he bet Jonathan Martinez inside the distance at plus 200 or above there. Sh solid spot there. But Shout uh, out to me for taking the dog shot on <laughs> Frankie Sainz. Hey, I had Frankie Sainz against Marlon Vera. So don't worry. We both <laughs> fell for it. We both fell for it. Uh, but yeah, I, I I do like Jonathan Martinez here. I, I think just with him being more active, uh, him having kind of a similar style to Thomas Almeida, I would say Almeida has a better Muay Thai game, but Jonathan Martinez still has a solid like kicking game. He has a solid uh, punching game. Like He's a solid striker all around. I don't see this fight hitting the ground. I think both guys are going to try to you know have the bigger cojones and just go for a striking battle. Uh, but I do like Jonathan Martinez. Again, his activity, uh, his confidence is growing too, especially getting that big win last time around. Um, and again, the, the layout for Thomas Almeida is a little bit sketchy. So mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I can't really see the edge in terms of people wanting to bet Almeida in this spot because we don't know what he's going to look like coming back after nearly three years. We know that he brings violence all the time, but is it enough? So I like, uh, I like Jonathan Martinez here. Uh, maybe a finish, maybe a late finish. I'm not sure, uh, but I do like him. Pick'em odds is not that bad either. But uh, if he if he gets higher than that, I'd, I'd probably think about it a little bit more. But I do like Jonathan Martinez, uh, and this is a solid spot from. Shout out to anybody that got him at like plus 130, plus 140 at the the egregious line that they opened this matchup at. For sure, that was the move. Getting getting dog money on either side of this fight was definitely the move. And I'm I'm right there with you. My brain tells me that I should be on Jonathan Martinez, man, but. I just don't know what Thomas Almeida we're going to get. Because like you said, this kid was a prospect. Then he gets knocked out by Cody Garbrandt. He comes back with a knockout of his own, looks sick again. He's right back on top. And then he gets beat by uh, Jimmy Rivera and Rob Font. So one in three in his last four just completely fell apart, takes two years off. I mean, his durability has got to love him for that move. He should be a little bit more durable unless he's just completely broken at this point. And when you look at the numbers, I mean, he was averaging 5.66 significant strikes a minute when he was fighting regularly. He was absorbing 4.65, so outlanding his opponents by a full significant strike per minute. Jonathan Martinez so far averages 4.22 and then absorbs 3.46, so a slightly lower work rate and not quite as big of a differential. So I feel like Thomas Almeida should be expected to be the favorite here just a little bit, but I don't like betting on people where you just don't know. Coming off that layoff, he could be completely shattered and completely broken. He could have reinvented himself, and then you've got Martinez, who's got a 46% takedown defense. Maybe he does take this thing to the ground. Maybe he does try to come out and wrestle him and show some new chops in the UFC. I don't know. And that's my real problem with this fight. This is a fireball and popcorn fight if I have ever seen one. I plan on having a drink, sitting back, not caring. I'm not risking my money on this one. And unless I see something at the weigh-ins that really tip me one way or the other, this is just this is the stay-off fight of the night for me. Cody Garbrandt, Jimmy Rivera, and Rob Font. These guys are high level guys. Let's not yes. let's not take that for granted. Even though he's one and three in his last four, those are high level guys. Now is Jonathan Martinez that level this is the fight i believe it will give us a little bit of an indicator i still believe we would need to see martinez against somebody that's not coming off a three-year layoff but yeah. this is a good uh way to figure out whether martinez is up there or not i completely agree and that's and that's where i would lean towards almeida if i had to make a pick on this fight i would lean towards almeida i feel like because martinez had a split 
with Andre Ewell. Now, I think that split went the wrong way. I think he should have won that fight. But regardless, here going to splits with Andre Ewell. And then, yeah, he takes out Frankie Signs, but we already talked about that. The dude, he's retirement age. He's 40 years old. He doesn't belong in there with monsters like this. Thomas Almeida was taken on the cream of the crop two years ago. And I know Car- Cody Garbrandt has had a steep drop-off. We haven't seen Jimmy Rivera for a while, but at the time, those were the legends. You know what I mean? So is Martinez ready for that level? We'll find out. Just sit back. We'll find out. Just sit back and enjoy it. Exactly. Exactly.